Hey guys, it's me, Stormy, and here is your Love Only Horoscope for September 2016. And what a good month for a pause for a reevaluation, but also a great month for getting ready to have some great new partnerships, especially going forward. I feel like cosmically we're just in a really good place when it comes to romance and relationships not to mention with jupiter changing sign on the ninth of this month moving into our partnership sign which is libra it's a very optimistic and blessed placement now yes i know somebody out there is going stormy my love life sucks i get it but you can also take this month as the opportunity to realize that jupiter is a lucky optimistic opportunistic planet he's bringing you opportunities to have different patterns different relationships different experiences in your life and if you will move your bottom get out of your house get out of your rut get out of your normal train of thinking and experience something new you can really take this by the balls and have a really good experience especially for the next year all the way until october 2017 is where jupiter is blessing this partnership space and so the other things we can kind of look at is that not only in relationships because sometimes our romantic relationships don't start by you know I see you across the room and we fall in love sometimes it's a friend says just come with me to this thing I don't know if you'll like it but it'd just be something new and you go and what it's great about that because even in a networking sense or in a I'm just relating kind of sense that's also what Jupiter is doing he's creating a relation an ability to understand and see a kinship or a connection and sometimes the most romantic relationships we have don't turn into romance at all right the most loving relationships we have at all don't turn into romance some of them turn into business partners or best friends or whatever the new relationship is but either way Jupiter is helping to create that then we also have Venus coming into Libra on the 23rd a new moon happening in Libra at the end of the month on the 30th I'm telling you this month partnerships any changes that need to be made to them to bring harmony is absolutely supported and that's phenomenal because as we have permission to move forward as we get towards the end of September, definitely into October, we want to take this energy and these new partnerships out into our life so that we can create new experiences. Now, if you want to know what's going on for your sign this month, you just stay tuned and don't forget you're also getting a delicious dose of tarot with this from Monica from Advice to Think Twice. All right, guys, I love you very much. Have a beautiful September and I will see you in October. Hi Capricorn. So the beginning of the month I think is slightly less exciting than the end of the month and that's because at the end of the month Mars moves into your sign. So we're going to get into some action. But let's start at the beginning. So in the beginning of the month I do think that it is just not as exciting because even though we've had this eclipse it has done some significant things but I think it's given you a lot to think about in terms of career where you're very you're busy, you're working on things, you are, you know, you've got these little tasks and little things that you're trying to figure out and and take care of and learn new things about it's just like the strategy to achieve is you know and stay out of the way so that you're not blocking the universe all at the same time that's kind of what's on your mind and in your action now we get to September 23rd and I think it's just like we get to the second half of the month and you're like I I, yeah, I just have to get out of my own way. I just need to do something different. I need to experience something different. And it becomes a little bit more of a social time for you, which is phenomenal. Now I will tell you, if someone invites you to do something this month, I would highly suggest that you go, especially if it's something different than what you normally do, or even if it's along the same lines, but just in a way you've never done it. Let's say you always go to salsa class, but you've never been to the one on Thursday night. Go, because it's like there could be a person there and you're like whoa and some sparks could start to fly it's very exciting and even if you're coupled up try and take these adventures that bring some newness into your life so that we can create a little sizzle now we get to the 27th mars moves into capricorn and you are lit with action right like you just got handed action you just got handed the sex planet the libido planet the action planet the fire planet so it's almost like 
Maybe you met somebody at Salsa Thursday, you didn't say anything there, but now you might be ready to go at them in a little bit more courageous and bold kind of manner. It's where you can kind of channel your inner Aries Scorpio. It's really very beautiful. So I look forward to seeing a little bit more of the passion, the creativity in some of your projects and what you create in your love life as we roll into October. Have a good month, Cap. Hello everyone, this is Monica with Advice to Think Twice and I'm here with your September 2016 Love Tarot Forecast. This is for Capricorn. Thank you for being here with me today. And as always, please remember these are general readings only, so they're not going to apply to everybody watching. Uh, just keep that in mind. Uh, you can also watch your moon and rising sign readings for additional messages. But for the time being, just take away the messages that do resonate with you in this general reading. So Capricorn, okay, it looks like a really interesting month for you guys, okay, guys and girls, this month. Uh, when it comes to your love life, for some of you, this is great new love, new potential, um, marriages, pregnancies, new homes this month, okay, taking things to the next level. For others, this is um, a new stage within the relationship that comes after a clarifying conversation or coming clean with someone and forgiveness and reconciliation are happening and for others this is definitely just saying be honest about what you're looking for because you have a lot of options around you this month so just be sure that you know what you're looking for so that you know what it is when it finds you basically okay so let's just jump in first we have your overall energy we have the ace of cups so that is beautiful okay so your overall energy for the entire month of September is the Ace of Cups. And the Ace of Cups represents new love, okay? Uh, new love, um, new relationships, falling in love. It can represent new stages within existing relationships, moving in together, getting married, having babies, okay, or getting pregnant, um, meeting the family, just a beautiful loving time. Uh, for some of you, though, the Ace of Cups represents your emotions are overflowing. You may be extra sensitive or too sensitive this month. So just be mindful of that. Make sure you're not overreacting to things. Make sure you're not taking things personally that are not intended to be taken personally. You're just a bit too sensitive this month. Be mindful of that. Protect yourself accordingly. Make sure that um, you clarify communication so that there's no issue and there's no misunderstandings okay to cause problems uh, but it's just a beautiful beautiful time okay it's a, a potential potential for love potential for true love potential for new love this month so make sure that you use that to your advantage and again just keep that in mind uh, for some of you that you may be a bit extra sensitive this month okay in the first week we have the three of cups and the three of cups is a card that represents going out mingling uh spending time with your friends socializing a lot flirting okay um in um in a few cases this could represent um like a love triangle situation okay where you kind of have to make a choice uh, what is it that you're going to do? Are you going to uh, stick with who you are or are you going to allow some sort of um, situation to happen with another person? Uh, just be mindful of that, okay? Remember, you may be a bit, a bit extra sensitive this month, so just try to keep a clear head, okay? Uh, for others, this is talking about um, your friends introducing you to someone, okay, who's definitely a potential romantic partner. Um, and this person could be a water sign, a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces. This is someone who's really sensitive, very romantic, uh, very genuine, um, kind of like a like a dream person, you know, a dream partner. So that could be happening for some of you. Um, for others, this is definitely going out a lot, dating a lot of different people, okay, around the, the first week of the month. And you definitely have some romantic potential with at least one of them, okay? So try to keep that in mind. Um, but just enjoy yourself for the most part, okay? This is celebrations. Also, this is get-together, celebration. This is also taking things to the next level in an existing relationship. Meeting the parents, meeting the folks, meeting the friends. Um, and just taking it from there. And it can also be that two become three is what I heard. So if it's just been the two of you for a while, you may find out that you are pregnant or your partner's pregnant this month. In the beginning of the month. In the second week, we have the Moon card, and the Moon card is a major arcana card. For some of you, it talks about honeymoons, 
Um, for others, it talks about uh, keeping a pregnancy under wraps um, just until it's safe to tell people is what I'm getting. Um, for others, this is a new relationship that you're starting that you're keeping to yourself. Um, this could also be some sort of secret rendezvous, rendezvous or even like an affair type situation happening around the second week um, that you may have to, you know, try to figure out how you want to go about that because you'll find yourself in a situation where you have to kind of make a choice as to what you do if you tell your existing partner, if you stick with your new partner. Um, it can be a confusing time with the moon card and remember you're extra sensitive right now so you're not really thinking clearly. So try your best to keep a clear head, okay? Uh, for others, this is romance, this is falling in love, this is falling back in love with a person, okay? Especially if you're dealing with, a, with another uh, or with a water sign because you're not a water sign. Um, this could be, like I say, some sort of trip, romantic trip. This could be moving into um, a new home or, or even like buying a second property abroad, overseas, like a holiday home or something like that. Um, and around the third week, we have the Queen of Swords. So with the Queen of Swords around the third week, for some of you, this talks about the secret affair that's been going on. I feel like this is the clarifying conversation. This is the coming clean or actually your partner catching you out. Um, and it's just a lot of difficult conversations. But I do feel like through these conversations, you either decide that you know what, I'm actually happier with the other person and talk things out and try to part amicably if that is even possible um but with the ace of cups as your overall energy forgiveness is in the air somehow so as long as you're honest i feel like that's going to go in your favor um for others of you i feel like this is a new person entering your life okay an air sign a gemini a libra or an aquarius I feel like this person may be a bit difficult to read and remember you're being overly sensitive this month so maybe you're taking that to mean that they're not interested communicate okay they're great communicators and they're great communicators but they don't always show how they feel um, especially if you're in a group of people okay if you're just the two of you they're a different person but communicate okay approach them clear things out and uh, just take it from there um, <clears throat> For those of you, I feel like this is overcoming difficulty. This is forgiveness. This is having that clarifying conversation of this is what happened. I messed up or your partner messed up. Um, I'm really sorry. I learned whatever I learned from it. I'm, I know that I'm not going to do it again. Let's do this again. Let's try again. Okay, let's give it another chance um, and try again with the relationship. And that is, um, again, honesty will, will take you a long way this month. So try to be genuine and honest. And you will have forgiveness, reconciliation, second chances, healing, okay? Um, and around the fourth week, we have the Seven of Cups. So the Seven of Cups talks about love options and love potential. For some of you, around the fourth week, this says that you're extra dreamy right now, okay? Or you may tend to be um, daydreaming too much. Uh, with the Ace of Cups talking about your your emotions overflowing and the Seven of Cups talking about uh, being in a daze. Just be mindful of that, okay? Make sure that you're seeing things clearly. I feel like definitely like double rose colored glasses are on your eyes. Um, so just be mindful of that, okay? Make sure you're not making any kind of significant major life-changing decisions around the fourth week, especially when it comes to your love life. For others, this is just talking about a lot of options and opportunity when it comes to love life, especially from water signs, especially if you're attending some sort of event, uh, celebration, get together type thing. Uh, but again, just keep in mind that you may not see things for what they are, okay? Because if you can see everyone's got a mask, you know, and the card and they're drawing my attention to that. Um, because I have another mask character in your guidance card. So just be aware of the fact that um, it's okay to go with the flow and be impressed and um, kind of wooed is what I'm getting. But make sure you don't jump into anything uh, too quickly, okay? Your guidance card is honesty is essential. So there you go. That's another confirmation. 
to be a loving person it is important that we speak truthfully and in a loving manner so i'm seeing a lot of conversations this month clarifying conversations people coming clean and having forgiveness as a result okay finding forgiveness as a result um or a compassion at least okay um, this is also being honest with yourself and uh, making sure that what you're asking for is not too much or too little, okay? Making sure that you're true to who you are this month, uh, that you put yourself first, that you enjoy yourself, that you get yourself out there. You show yourself love first and foremost, and then love from other people will follow, okay? But honesty is essential for you this month. That is your theme for the month. Just be honest about anything, everything. And you will find that, you know, you're being met with a lot of loving energy and emotions from other people, okay? And compassion from other people. So there you have it. That's your reading. I really hope that you enjoy it. And I hope you have a really great month. Thank you again for being here with me. And I will talk to you again soon. Take care.